Consider the following 2018 PUMAT problem. Here is a view of this problem. Uh, like in this picture, we have a three-set Venn diagram, which uh, splits our uh, picture into uh, eight regions. And I can label those regions, if you will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then what we want is to color these eight regions using three colors uh, in such a way that we want to make sure that each color is used at least once. And at the same time, we are aware of the fact that rotations and reflections, if you can obtain a coloring uh, by another coloring, by simply taking a rotation or a reflection, then those two are supposed to be counted as once. Uh, so that we are just basically asking for essentially different colorings uh, up to rotations and reflections. And um, and obviously we will be using Burnside's lemma uh, for that. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, make use of the symmetry. In this case, we have the symmetry of an equilateral triangle because these three circles inside uh, are uh, oriented in, in such a way. So in that case, uh, the uh, number uh, of uh, colorings where we use where we use actually any color so let's change so let's call the number of co uh, colors as uh, say n and obviously the problem is asking it for three right so we will solve that particular case but let's assume that we have just n colors all right so the number of colorings uh, would be equal to 1 over because we have both rotations and reflections, 3 rotational symmetries and 3 reflectional symmetries for a total of 6 symmetries uh, acting on, uh, on an equilateral triangular shape. And those symmetries are for the rotations, we have the identity. So the identity rotation will just keep those 8 um, regions as they are. So that will create 8 uh, cycles. So therefore, we will have, uh, for each cycle, uh, we have n choices. So therefore, uh, we will have n choices for the first region, n choices for the second, and so on. So for our eight regions, we have n to the power eight. That's uh, for uh, the colorings for uh, the identity. Well, then, uh, the fix of the identity. Then we need to consider the two rotations, namely 120 degree and 240 degree rotations. Uh, for those rotations, uh, we just realized that if we need to color code, uh, so region 1 will be mapped to itself, region 2 will be mapped to 8, 8 will be mapped to 6, 6 will be mapped back to 2. So this is a cycle. Uh, like I said earlier, this is by itself a cycle. Then we are also aware that uh, 3, 5 and 7, they will be uh, a cycle, they will uh, determine a cycle. And finally, uh, we have four in its own cycle. So rotations, uh, 120 degrees or 240 degrees for that matter, it doesn't matter, so two times. Um, in total, we have uh, one, two, three, four. Um, four cycles, each cycle has n choices of color. And finally, we have the three reflections. So for the reflection, uh, well, one will be its own cycle. Uh, so I'm talking about reflections here. Uh, well, uh, let's just focus on the reflection which goes uh, uh, like this, axis of symmetry like this, and we will just multiply it by 3 anyways. So therefore, uh, 2 will be mapped to itself as well. Uh, 4 and eight, 7 will also be mapped to uh, themselves. So therefore, all of these are cycles in, in their own. Uh, so 3 and 5 will be mapped to each other. So 3 goes to 5 and 5 goes to 3. That's another cycle. And finally, 6 and 8. 6 and 8 exchanges. So therefore, in total, uh, I think we have 6 cycles. So n to the power 6. And that's it. This is the fix of the reflection. Uh, and we have 3 of these. Um, yeah, so that solves the problem for uh, n colorings. Uh, now, in the R particular case, uh, n is equal to 3. So, therefore, uh, we can start with a running total of uh, 1 sixth, uh, 3 to the 8, plus 2 times 3 to the 4th, plus 3 times 3 to the 6th. And uh, I believe this is equal to 1485. Uh, now, like I said, uh, this is just uh, an initial step. 
And uh, well, uh, why is this not the answer? Because of this condition here that forces us to make sure that each color is used at least once. And well, uh, these 1485 colorings, some of them might have only two colors, for instance. So uh, we need to make sure that these uh, um, these are ruled out. So uh, how many ways can we uh, color these uh, using only two colors? So I need to make an adjustment, right? So this is basically, I'm making these, uh, so I did a strategic overcount, and in the sp spirit of principle of inclusion and exclusion, I want to make my adjustment. So I want to make an adjustment in such a way that, uh, for instance, what if we used only two colors? Uh, let's say, I don't know, red and blue. Um, so we have never used uh, white color. So as a result, uh, one sixth, uh, two to the eighth. So it will be pretty much the same. Uh, so we will be using the same formula for n equals two actually, uh, plus uh, three times two to the power six. And uh, when we do this, uh, uh, when we calculate this, uh, I believe we get 80. But this is not the adjustment, so we won't just subtract 80 by itself, but we, we would rather subtract 3 times 80. And the reason being that uh, we can have uh, colors as, if we have 3 colors, uh, we can have red and blue missing, or red and white, and blue and white. So we have 3, uh, So or if you will, we can say 3 choose 2. Uh, so which 2 colors is it that's missing, right? Awesome, so uh, that's just uh, minus 240. So therefore our uh, revised uh, running total would be uh, 1245. But then uh, we just realized that uh, we subtracted too far. So we had an overcount here, but now we have an undercount. And uh, the reason is that um, uh, monochromatic colorings where we use a single color uh, so have we counted those at all? So I know that I counted these ones here and then we subtracted them. So how many times did we uh, subtract them? Uh, well, uh, so, so we counted them once here. Uh, do, by the way, do we want those monochromatic colorings? No, we don't because uh, we want to make sure that each color is used once. So therefore, I, I want to make sure that in this uh, count, uh, I didn't include or subtract too many times those type of monochromatic colorings. I know that my uh, two colorings are good. So like when I use uh, two colors, um, my adjustment works. So th these are all excluded. All these two colorings are excluded, but then single color things are, uh, are, are more problematic. So therefore, let's consider therefore uh, the color, let's say all red. So everything is colored red. Well, we counted all red once here. So plus one. How many times did we subtract here? Well, we subtracted once when we did red and blue. Uh, we subtracted once more when we did red and white. Uh, so, so far we subtracted it two times. Uh, then we need to add them back once more at least. Does that make sense? So I need to make sure that I add all red once more. But then I need to add all blue and all white also once more, each of them. So therefore I need to add three times one. So therefore, the final count will be uh, 1248, and that's uh, that's the final answer to this uh, to this problem, and we're done.